Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and happy four year anniversary to my channel. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so happy. I cannot believe it's actually been four years since I've started Disney Queen Skelly. And of course, as you guys know, a lot has changed. So as per tradition, we are going to watch the first ever video on my channel, the most popular video on my, on my channel, and as of time, we're recording the most recent video on my channel, which as of today, April 20th, it is actually um, my th first ever therapy session video. So let's get started with the first ever video that I uploaded to YouTube, the introduction to Disney Queen Skelly. You guys know it probably all too well at this point. What up guys? My name is Disney Queen Skelly. I'm so fucking skinny. The fun fact about that choker, it never actually fit me like a choker. It fit me f more like a low hanging necklace. Plus I miss wearing my snapbacks or my, yeah, my snapbacks. I kind of miss my hair being like, like that. It looked kind of cool. And I probably changed this channel about 50 times over on what I want it to be. I've officially said that I want to make it part of my Disney account that I have on Instagram. It still kind of amazes me that my channel started out as an Instagram account and then moved to YouTube. Because I honestly love going to Disneyland and I figure there's nothing really better to do other than to document it. And I do that through pictures and like videos and stuff and obviously like you can see it on there. Same name, Disney Queen Skelly. But thus starts the minute and 47 seconds of me just advertising my channel or my Instagram, even though now it's changed completely. I really love talking about it too. Like, Disney's my life, and I don't think I could be anywhere without it. I mean, check out my hat. <laughs> but. I really just want to share this. Nowadays, I try and match my accessories to what I'm wearing. So if I'm not wearing, like, something that would be appropriate for a Jack Ensemble, like, the accessories-wise, I won't wear it. Like, I don't wear my snapbacks anymore unless I'm wearing, like, a Jack outfit. Same with the ears or anything like that. Like, I've kind of just changed up how I dress when it comes to Disney. It's nothing sad or anything. It's just kind of me, you know, just changing throughout, you know, time experience with you guys and my memories that occur at Disneyland. I also still have those earrings. I love those earrings. And you know, obviously those of you who can't go, I feel like this is maybe a good way for you guys to maybe get an experience because I do everything there. I will even do Small World. I'll, I still go to Toontown. I love meeting the characters. And if you're ever curious on my pictures, you can always go look them up on my Instagram account. Again, Disney Queen Skelly. That's twice now. It's the same thing as my YouTube. So every time I go to Disneyland, I will be taking videos and I'll be kind of sharing my experience. And if you Also, fun fact, we no longer have this couch anymore. It's now like this white leather couch. It's really nice. If you guys want to know what pictures I took, if you guys want to like kind of get a little deeper into the story instead of just hearing me talk. You can go ahead and look at my Instagram. But again, it's the same username, no underscores or anything, just Disney Queen Skelly. Third mention. All one word. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this channel, because I know I will. Bye, everybody. That's before I came up with calling you guys little skeletons. So now we are going to move on to the most viewed video on my channel. Alright, so like my introduction video, you guys know this video all too well. This is the How to Write an Arabesh Part 1, The Alphabet. It took me forever to get Part 2 out. I think it took months for me to get Part 2 out. But you guys know this video just like I do all too well, so let's get into it. Hi everybody, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Anyway, so as I- God, my short hair does not flatter my facial structure. I told you guys I would be starting a new playlist, and the playlist is how to stuff, right? <laughs> and this is how to write an arbesh, because I know how to do- Yeah, that angle is definitely not flattering. Yeah, kinda. I know most letters. I taught hubby how to do this, so I figured I'd teach you guys how to do this. <clears throat> and I do have a little cheat sheet that, that hubby did write for me in here when I was teaching him. 
So um, we're going to use that cheat sheet to write the alphabet. Okay? Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, as that is such clearly a different ring than I have on right now. <laughs> you can see they have a whole alphabet, but there's some additional stuff that we're not going to... This is also when I was cutting my nails short because he was teaching me how to play guitar. We've kind of stopped doing that, and now I just grow them, and they break as they please. I'm going to get to just yet. We'll get to that later. But now you're just going to learn the alphabet to make it super simple. So, of course, we're going to start with the letter A. Now, keep in I hate those pens. They don't have any grips on them, and I tried to buy grips for them, but the grips wouldn't fit. Ugh. Find that people who write in Arabesh, it's like the same as when you write in English or your own native language. Everyone has their own font. I know that sounds so weird, but everyone does have their own font. Which it's true. Also, I forgot to mention, this video is currently at 383 views as of April 20th, time of recording, with 18 likes, no dislikes, and two comments as well as a reply from me from each of them for each of them. So let's get back into it. So we're gonna start with the letter A. So it looks almost like you're writing a K that doesn't connect, right? So you're gonna start, but- I kind of wished I had one of those cameras that I could like position above me so it could have found, filmed me on my desk, but I don't know how I would get one of those. And if you guys know one that I could use, I would greatly appreciate it. But at the moment, hubby was filming me and he really had to go to the bathroom like towards the end of this. So once I said, you can stop recording, he like slammed my phone down and like ran. Also, I have like a little Spanish lesson on the side here for myself. That's pretty cool. By by going like up, up here at the very top of your paper and then coming down just a little bit to give yourself like a little number one. Okay. Then you're going to cut. Those scars I have right here are shaving accidents and they didn't go away for a very long time. Come across to your right hand side and it almost looks like an L and then you're going to bring it diagonally up to the right side. I also do apologize about the camera shake if it makes any of you guys nauseous. And you got the first half of the letter. You're almost done. And then all you're going to do is just mirror that on the bottom. So start um, right where the first bit of it ends and then you're going to come down again, just like a little dash, come across to the right and you're almost going to get- You said it was a number one, not a dash. Yeah, like an, an upside down L and then it's going to come back diagonally down to the right. And there's the left. So all of those wristbands that I have on my on my arm are actually a symbol of something that uh, that I went through when I was younger that I've talked about with you guys. I don't do that anymore. I feel like holding on to that was kind of just almost holding on to a crutch. And I didn't exactly want to do that. So I took them all off and just started using them as hair ties. And it felt good not to have them on my wrist. But now I still keep like a bracelet or two on there just so it doesn't feel naked letter A. Okay? Now you can repeat my teachings as many times as you need to in order to get this down, but this is the pace at, that I'm going to do this at. If you need to slow it down, go ahead. If you need to go back at any- Also forgot to tell you guys, so a couple days ago you guys saw me send a text message to Harley Baby that said the quote, you will join me for dinner and that's not a request. She literally texted back because that's how you treat a lady and I was like, amen. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you guys know since I promised you that a few days ago. Any point, go ahead. It's totally up to you how you want to do this. So now we're going to go... I'm sorry, a few weeks ago. You, you're seeing this July 25th. A few weeks ago. Maybe it is a few days ago. Who knows? Who who knows how far out these videos go anymore? The letter B. Which kind of looks like, to me, like a sandwich. Almost like a, a cookie, an Oreo cookie sandwich. So we're going to start by doing the top bit of our sandwich. <laughs> Which is Speaking of Oreo cookies, I got some recently, and I love them so much. They're my crack. I get, purposefully, I get the dark chocolate Oreo cookies. That way my mom doesn't take them. Instead of starting up at the top like we did for the letter A, you're actually going to start somewhere in the middle and bring a diagonal up to the right. But don't go all the way to the top because then you're going to go off your page and you have nowhere for this straight line to go, pointing off to the right. And then starting from the tip here, you're going to go down diagonally to the bottom right. And that's the top bit. Now, in the middle here, don't go from line to line because that's not how it is. You're going to go from about, about the middle here and then just a little dash in the middle. Okay? Good. And then you're... 
hubby's looks so much neater than mine but like i said everyone has their own font and it's the same thing here i'm gonna mirror the top bit like you did for the letter a so that's going to be starting from right about here not completely closing off i mean to kind of think about it the arabish language it looks like shapes and he's an artist so obviously that's going to be more his domain than mine but my handwriting like this versus this like my handwriting is better than his like i've taught him proper penmanship now he asked me for my help on that because he hated the way he would write like his letters and all that your your gaps because that's not the letter b you're gonna go diagonally down starting from your left cut across and then go back up diagonally to the right and then that is your letter b pretty easy right c is one of the easier letters to learn at least in my opinion because you know you just it's it's just three lines <laughs> so this one you're going to start at the very very top and go a little bit down okay then you're going to go about half i know the angle was pretty bad in the beginning like about my posture and like my weight and all that but if you'd believe it, I've actually gained weight since this video. I haven't lost weight, but I don't look it because I try to pose myself to where it looks like I'm not a dead decent weight. <laughs> Halfway from your first line and make a smaller line, right? And then you're going to go from the top of that middle line and bring it down. And there's your letter C. Now for the letter D. Have you guys ever written a seven before? Because that's all you're doing is writing a seven. <laughs> you're just going to literally write the number seven, except prettier than that. And then you're going to make a little dash in the middle, but do not extend it all the way out past your seven on this side because that's not the letter D. You know what I learned recently is that a bunch of the different like cultures in Star Wars have their own languages. And I was thinking to maybe teach you guys those because like the Sith has their own. I think the bounty hunters have their own. Everyone has their own like language. So I was thinking to maybe like research that and write and like teach you guys that as well. Gotta keep it within this diagonal line here. So literally it's just the number seven. E is a little trickier. It's like you're connecting a V and a T together. Okay, so your V. You're gonna see that every so often where hubby brings the camera up and then I kind of have him move it down. So what I would do is I would kind of like move his hand down and then like it would be on top of me again instead of like it being like over on my like my bed or something like that. Literally just draw a V first. That's all you have to do is draw a V, right? Super easy. Now you're gonna come out from this top corner here, bring it out like that. And then from the center of this, you're going to bring a line straight down. And that's letter E. Now I will say this, Hubby is an amazing supporter of my channel. Whenever I ask him if he wants to do something with me, he always says yes. I have rarely heard him say no. He just doesn't like to be alone in these videos, kind of like how I left him alone once when it came to a Star Wars quiz. But I like when he joins me. I like when I ask him if I can film things. He's so supportive and it makes me so happy. And I think if it wasn't for his support and Harley Baby support, I wouldn't be able to do the stuff that I do for you guys. Now we're gonna go to the letter F. This one's also a little harder. So like we did for most of these, instead of starting out like right around here, you're gonna bring your pen or pencil out a little bit. I recommend starting in pencil. The only reason I'm doing this in pen is because I've done this multiple times over. So you're gonna start from the middle and kind of do a little, a little half, a little crescent moon. Just like that, right? Just make sure. There we go. You're gonna do a little crescent moon. And then from that crescent moon, you're gonna cut. I'm surprised I didn't cut that out. I would have now. Come to the end here and then bring it out like that towards the left. And Kinda looks like Hubby's hair after he styles it. <laughs> and then from here, you're gonna take a small line down, right? And then from this here, you're gonna bring it out to the right just a little bit and then about here in the middle you're gonna bring a line down to almost slice it in half and there is your f now i recommend starting out on um free range paper like this because once you get to line paper you have to fit it in the lines that you're doing it in and i feel like we camera movement <laughs> 
Nowadays, I would actually recommend you start with lined paper so you kind of have an idea of how to make it neater, but free range, I guess free range is okay because you have more room to work with how you want them to look, bigger, smaller, whatever. It's easier if you guys start out on free range paper, that way you can get an idea for how you want this to look. So anyway. Yeah, exactly what I said. Now we're gonna do the letter G. Now I'm gonna tell you this now, you're gonna confuse it with the letter U. I couldn't remember which letter. And how you're gonna probably confuse D for the letter R. And I'll explain why in a bit. So the letter G, you're gonna start with a straight line down, just like that. Then you're gonna cut across like you're writing the letter L. Now this, it has a line going diagonally up to the right, okay? Then you're gonna bring it into about midpoint I love how the iPhone like focuses on whatever is like closest to the camera. It's such a nice like quality. And then bring even hubby admits because he hates iPhones. He's been a droid user for a while. He goes iPhones but he goes I will admit this you guys have a better camera but now I think with the newest uh, Samsung or droid or whatever I think they do have a better camera now than the iPhone does but who knows. A line down and then that's your letter G. All right, now we're going to H, which looks more like the sandwich than B did, but B to me is like an ice cream sandwich. H is like a regular sandwich. So H is literally just three lines like letter, letter C was. So H is going to be a line across. Yeah, I hope you guys are following me. Like I said, this is one of the easier ones. A little line in the middle, and then a big line across the bottom. I'm surprised I wasn't being a sarcastic shit and said this is one of the harder ones, guys. You're going to want to pay attention. And there's your letter H. Now, because that's exactly what I said to Hubby when I was teaching him this alphabet. We're going to move down to the next set of letters. The next set is going to be I through O. Because that's the way he wrote it here. The letter I literally looks like the number one all fancy, just minus the little bottom bit. So you're gonna start here, kind of in the middle again. Bring it up, I used to actually write my ones like that, but then like my teachers got mad at me, so I stopped doing it. Diagonally to the right, and then bring it straight down. However, I do actually write my sevens like this, kind of like how I do my Zs, and no one's has said anything, so. I even like put the little dash in my zeros. There's your letter I. Alright, I'm gonna go down here for the letter J. You actually had plenty of room right here for the letter J. I don't know why you felt like you had to move. So, letter J, you're gonna start um, around the middle of your paper, and like we did for the letter F, you're gonna do a little crescent moon up. Okay? Then, from the top, tippy top of that crescent moon here, you're gonna... I was, like, so off because I was looking at it through the camera, not, like, under the camera at my own hand. Bring a line down, okay? And then you're gonna bring a line across. Then again, for like perspective purposes, I was writing like basically like this. So he had the phone like right here and like my hand was like down here. So it's like, I couldn't exactly see under the phone. And there's your letter J. Letter K is one of the other easier ones. The only reason I say that is because it looks like an uncompleted box, incompleted box. So, um, well, more like a rectangle, I should say. So you're going to basically just draw a line. That hopefully looks better than that. <laughs> and then you're going to draw a line down. See, in that case, I had to move his hand up because he was like almost like hitting my hand and like not exactly showing the paper too well, like the example versus what I'm doing. And then another line across. And that's letter K. Now we're going to move on to the letter L, which kind of looks like a check mark, except the, okay, I'll, I'll just show you. So it's, you're going to come down in a straight line like that. And then you're from this point, you're going to bring it diagonally up to the left. So right about there, almost at, at your halfway point. And that's going to be the letter L. And what I mean by it almost looks like a check mark is the only reason why it isn't a check mark is because this bit, the tall bit, isn't going out diagonally, it's going up. 
All right, so now we're gonna go to letter M. That one is- Why am I out of breath doing this? Then again, I get out of breath doing like the smallest thing. So can't judge my own self for what I already still do. It's a little trickier as well. And I still struggle with the letter M in all honesty in Arabesh. So um, like we did for the letter F, it's not gonna start like over, over here. Like most letters do, you're gonna wanna go out again. You're gonna wanna draw a line like that, a small line like that. Then from this end, you're gonna go diagonally down to your left. And then from this bit, you're gonna take it out. And that's your letter M. Letter N to me just looks like a backwards N anyways. <laughs> so like with the crescent moon for the letter F and the letter J, this one's gonna be a bit bigger. So it's going to- Had to move his hand up again. To come from about here, and you're just gonna make a crescent moon like that. Then from this end, right here, you're gonna bring it up diagonally to the right. And then from this end, you're gonna bring it diagonally down to the right. Doesn't that look like an N anyways? So you kinda look like my ends, just backwards. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to do the letter O, which have you- That and like, this point isn't as tented as this point is. Have you guys ever drawn a trapezoid? Because you're literally drawing a trapezoid. <laughs> um, the only difference is you just have the flat surfaces, so you're going to go like that, like a little dash. Then we're going to start here at this, at this end. Bring it down diagonally to the right. Then you're going to go over here. Bring it down diagonally to the left. And then you're just gonna close it off. I love how I said there's like the flat points instead of like it actually being pointy and then I just drew like a regular trapezoid. Like I didn't even listen to my own instructions. I always tell hubby, do as I say, not as I do. There's letter O. Easy peasy. Now some trickier letters, P through V. So the letter P, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. I'll try and go a little bit slower than I did in the last ones because I consider P, Q, and Z the hardest letters to do. Again, forgot which letter that I that I meant to say. So P is going to start out here again like we did for F. You're going to start more out here than in here. You're going to draw a straight line down. I think nowadays I would start in here and kind of bring it down and up instead of like starting like over here and going do, do, zoop, because it wouldn't seem right doing it like that to me nowadays at least okay pretty simple <clears throat> then from here you're going to take a line out i remember a harley baby commenting on hubby clearing his throat in the background i had to tell him he had to tell her he has a phlegm problem right now we're trying to figure it out and we're still trying to figure it out and getting like literally nowhere not too far, but just enough. Because from this line, like we did for- It's literally been like two years and we still haven't figured it out. The letter N, you're gonna be drawing a little bit of like a half, a little bit of a crescent moon, okay? And then you're going to bring just a little- I would tell you guys more about it, but I think I'd save that for a Chatting Skeletons episode because there's just a lot to talk about in that regard. Little itty bitty line in here at the top. I did not do this one well. So go, go look on the Arabesh um, picture online. But um, it should look something like that, just a little more spaced out. Like I said, I still have issues with letter P. <laughs> All right, letter Q is almost like you broke a corner of a box. So we're gonna start out here again. So you're gonna take a little line up like that. Then you're going to bring it in to the left like that bring it down all the way down okay and then you're gonna take it about halfway across and then give a little, little diagonal up god that p is so ugly i know i can do better than that and then that's the letter q and that diagonal is gonna go up to the right letter r again have you guys ever written the number seven that's all you're doing. That's an R. Now never get R and D confused. D, the way I like to remember it is D dash, D dash. 
R does not have a dash. So D dash, okay? S is another easy one. So you're gonna start with a little itty bitty dash pointing down to the right. Now you're gonna come up about here uh, from, the, from the dash and make a little bit of a bigger diagonal dash down to the right and then you're going to bring it straight up from this point like this. And there's your letter S. Always make sure that this bit of the S is smaller than the rest of it. Okay, now the letter T looks almost like an arrow. Wee camera! If you didn't connect it. So you're gonna start up here about up here, going a straight line down. Okay? Then we're gonna start going to the right. So it, it's a little tick like that to the right. Then you're going diagonally to the right up. Okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing on the left, just mirror it, a little tick. And then you're going to, then you're going to go diagonally up. To I don't know what he was doing for me to be silent at that point the left and that's the letter T. Make that stick a bit longer. There we go. <laughs> okay. And I remember how I said not to conclude. Everybody likes a bigger stick. Confuse the letter U and the letter G. Here's why. The letter U is going to start out the same way the letter G did. So you're going to bring a stick down, a little stick across on the bottom, but instead of going diagonally up to the right, you're actually going to bring it up as if you're completing a box. Then from this tip here, you're going to bring it in, not all the way again, just about halfway, and then bring it down. And then that's the letter U. Again, just be careful because the letter U and the letter G look very, very, very similar. The only thing is the G has a diagonal, so G diagonal. The letter V, I kid you not, looks like the letter Y. It's literally the letter Y. But you have to draw it exactly like that, like a stick. You can't do any like curves or anything funky to it. So that's the letter V. Finally, we're gonna do- He messed up on W. He thought it was a box. I was like, no, it's a rectangle. So he got all mad. <laughs> so w, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so W, have you ever drawn a rectangle? That's all you do. Just draw a rectangle that connects on all four corners and you got the letter W. Because mine I don't think connected at all four corners. <laughs> the letter X is literally a triangle. Again, connects, like a triangle that connects. That's letter X. See, and I started doing my X's like that because one of my uh, math teachers used to do that. Because, like, that X would be, like, for words, and then this X, like, the stick one, would be, like, for equations, so we wouldn't get it confused. Letter Y. So you're going to start kind of somewhere in the middle. From that middle dot, you're going to bring it up diagonally to the left. Then starting at this point right here, you're going to go a little bit off to your left again. Then starting from this point, you're going to bring it down to the right, like that. Then from this little point, you're going to bring it up. And that's the letter Y. Okay, now for the letter Z. Like I said for um, G, or like I said for P and Q, Z. Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't cut that stuff out because I would normally cut stuff like that out of my videos really pay attention to. So Z, you're going to start out here again. So you're going to bring it down. Okay. Bring it across from the bottom. And then you're going to give it a little tick up. All right. Now starting from the middle here, where your line went up, you're going to draw a line in, but you're not going to draw it to the point that it connects to this. You're only going to draw it a little bit out. The only reason why is because at this point here, you're going to bring it diagonally down to the left. And there is your letter Z. All right, little skeletons, that is how you write the Arabesh alphabet. Um
That Z is ugly, and cut out your silences, young lady. Um, if you guys need a little bit more of a playthrough on how it's done, um, obviously you can go back, kind of slow down the video. And cut out your ums. Video if you want, pause at any points um, until you get it, but um, once you get the alphabet down, start on the next video, because then we'll be learning how to write your name. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I swear to God, why didn't I cut up my ums? Like, I knew how to do that, and I just didn't do it. But nowadays, I do it. Alright guys, so I actually am running out of time uh, for filming today. I usually only film till about 4 o'clock on weekdays because that's when my mom wakes up and I don't really like filming when she's up just because she interrupts a lot and it's nothing against her, it's just her personality. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will drop the most recent video in the description box below, which again, at time of recording, is my first therapy session, like me talking about my first therapy session. So I will still link that in the description box, even though I couldn't react to it. I'm very sorry. I know you guys are probably so sick of seeing the introduction to the channel and my most popular video. I'm sorry. It's just kind of how I like to celebrate my four years on YouTube. Uh, with wrapping this up, I do want to say thank you guys so much for giving me four amazing years on this platform. I started out uh, back in 2017 when I did nothing more than maybe just go to Disneyland and then after that I started my fun facts and then it just kind of branched out from there, started getting a bit more serious with it and it's turned out to be a lot of fun. I started off with 10 of you and four years later at time of recording I'm up to 58 of you and I could not be happier. The goal by the end of the year is to get to 100, hopefully it happens, if not, oh well, we'll make it next year's goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Disney Queen Skelly family. Uh, for those of you that have been, been with me since the beginning, I want to say thank you. Basically keeping me motivated to keep this channel. If it wasn't for, you know, the people that subscribe, the views, the comments, the likes, the dislikes. If it, isn't, if it wasn't for the whole thing just in general, I don't think I would be more, I don't think I would be motivated to do it as much. You know, views fluctuate very differently every time. I love to see what videos are mo most popular. Um, I like to bring a hubby on. I have, I like to, you know, have Harley baby included with the Disney trips and it's just so much fun doing it. So thank you guys so much for making this channel possible. Uh, I want to thank hubby for supporting me throughout this channel, for giving, for giving me the support, I hit my laptop, for giving me the support that I needed to actually continue this channel even when times looked really dark. He'd always tell me, you have your channel, your channel makes you happy and he would be one of the big supporters in me continuing this channel rather than me just giving it up and quitting cold turkey. Uh, I want to thank Harley Baby for always giving me ideas for this channel. Um, she specifically will recommend chatting skeleton ep chatting ske uh, skeleton episodes to me, and you know she's been kind of the reason why I do the chatting skeletons episode really because if it wasn't for her I probably wouldn't have stories. You know what I mean? And sometimes I would talk about a story with her and I wouldn't even consider the fact that maybe it could be a chatting skeletons episode. And then she's like, "You should make it a chatting skeletons episode." I was like, "Ah, oh, you're so smart." <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for celebrating four years uh, of me on this amazing platform. Like I said, I'm very sorry I couldn't get to my uh, my first therapy session video and react to it. Uh, maybe I'll post like a part two, but I really don't want to do that because there's really no reason for me to. I, I just want this to be one solid video. So I will still link the therapy video in the description box below if you guys haven't seen it yet. Or if you have, you can watch it again or don't. It's, it's up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys. And here's to another year or more and more and many more on YouTube.